Pole saving Jews during German occupation, 1939-1945. Hundred years of Jewish history in Poland. The first mentions of Jews in Poland date back to the 11th century and are connected with the, the immigration to the territories of Poland and Hungary because of persecution in the Western Europe. Further friendly admission of Jews to Poland was caused by Mongol invasion that destroyed large part of Polish land in mid 13th century. Polish prince, princes wishing to reconstruct destroyed towns and the infrastructure invited Jew, Jewish immigrants from abroad, mainly from the West. A social organization transformation resulted from admission of Jewish settlers caused tensions among Christian townsmen and Jews. In 1246, the prince of Kalisha, Polesław the Devout, issued the Kalisha statute that guaranteed Jews' rights, freedom of commerce, and finance and courts in his principality. Unprecedented at that time was absence of fixed usury level, interest on borrowing in these privileges. Jews in Poland, 1918-1939. There, there were six Jewish political parties and many organizations in Poland. Their views were very dif diversified. A person extremely popular among the Polish Jews was Marshal Józef Piłsudski. He was perceived as a declared federalist and strong politician able to stop anti-Semitism. Cultural life of Jews in Poland flourished. There were many Jewish publication houses and theaters. Many newspapers and magazines were published in Hebrew. Relatively small number of Jews, about 10%, underwent Polonization. They were mainly those who professionally used Polish language and cultural patterns, such as journalists, artists, and free professionals. The remaining majority lived according to the principle of religion and long-lasting tradition, however, constituting a strongly diverse society. World War II w started on September 1st, 1939 by German military invasion in Poland, which was the first country in the world to fight the invaders in that war. Under the treaty between the Third Reich and the Soviet Union on September 17, 1939, the Red Army attacked Poland from the east, destroying its chances for effective defense against Germany. Jewish uprising in Warsaw Ghetto. In January 1942, the Germans prepared the plan for Reinhardt action, total extermination of Jews in territory of occupied Poland as the so-called final solution of Jewish question. German Entlossung der Judenfrage. In July 1942, transport from Warsaw Ghetto to Treblinka death camp started. In August, Janusz Korczak was transported with 200 foster children from his orphanage. This Polish Jewish physician, outstanding pedagogue and pioneer of respecting children's rights, received a proposal to escape, but he refused and stayed with the children until the end. By September, the Germans transported to the camp 75% of the ghetto population. In January 1943, there was another liquidation action commanded by Heinrich Himmler. In the last phase of the ghetto liquidation on April 19, 1943, the eve of Pesach holiday, the Jewish combat organization and the Jewish military union led by Mordecai Anielewicz started uprising. At that time, only 50 to 60,000 Jews out of almost half a million remained in ghetto. The uprising was supported by Polish Home Army and the, its commander, General Stefan Rovetsky Grot. 
As part of the ghetto action, the Poles attacked German Poles situated along the ghetto walls outside and provided the Jewish fighters with arms, explosives, and sabotage instructions how to manufacture Molotov cocktails. Over Muranowski Square, the area of heavily battles, two flags, Jewish and Polish, were hanging for a few days. After the uprising collapsed, the Germans practically annihilated the ghetto. On Adolf Hitler's order, they burned and blew up all the buildings. The highest one, the St. Augustine Catholic Church, remained it as a few. Paul saving Jews. There were many reasons for which Poles were saving Jews. Humanitarian considerations supported by Catholic background, moral responsibility, compassion, solidarity, pre-war friendship. Saving Jews created enormous dilemma, as on the one hand there were fugitives penalized with death, who often knock on the window at night asking for help, and on the other hand there was fear of denunciation and death penalty for one's own family. On October 15, 1941, Hans Frank, the general governor of the occupied Polish territories, issued an ordinance introducing in the general government to rate death penalty, death penalty for Jews leaving the ghetto without permission, and for Poles, for Poles helping them. That ordinance was confirmed by district governor's announcements. Germans with ruthless brutality penalized Poles for various kinds of help for, to Jews for hiding, providing with money, food or other goods, organizing escapes and issuing forged documents. Everyone risked death penalty even for giving a slice of bread to a Jew and not informing, not informing Germans that a neighbor was a hiding Jew. In face of terror, any kind of help, even dyeing a Jewish woman's hair, was heroic. Help was given in constant fear of Germans, but also of the so-called schmaltz uh, or blackmailers or denouncers. It is possible to establish exact number of Poles murdered for saving Jews. Leshno 13, this, this was the Jewish, Jewish uh, so-called Gestapo. Researchers showed that those who were saving Jews represented all social groups, from landed gentry and intelligentsia to workers and peasants. Poland was the only country occupied by Germany in which aid to Jews was sanctioned by debt, also of the whole family. The mass extermination of Jews in German occupied Poland. Note, address to the governments of the United Nations on December 10, 1942 and other documents, published on behalf of the Polish Ministry of Foreign Affairs. New York, London, Melbourne. Holocaust of Jews. During World War II, Germans occupying Poland considered Jews an inferior race like the Poles and national minorities. Jews were represented, repressed in many ways. Deportation from the territories included in the Third Reich, confiscation of property, forced labor, closing in ghettos and labor camps, and finally extermination in concentration and death camps, such as Auschwitz, Reblinka, Sobibor, Belzec. Concentration and death camp camps were the next stage of the planned extermination of Jews, Poles, and other national occupied. Irena Sendler, Yolanta, was born in Warsaw as the only child of Stanislav and Janina Kszyzanowski. Her father, a physician and social activist, managed tuberculosis sanatorium, treated poor Jewish people and peasants. He died on typhus infected by his patients. He taught Irena that people are not divided into ra races or for originals, but into the good and the bad. While playing with Jewish children, she learned Jew Yiddish, which was helpful later during German occupation. As a student, she practiced, practiced at Janusz Korczak Orphan's home in Wawer.
Polish state saving Jews, the aid granted to Jews by the Polish government in exile and underground state structures in the occupied Poland consisted of disseminating information on German persecutions and crimes, granting material and humanitarian support and hiding Jews from deportation to ghettos and death camps. On September 11, 1942, shortly before the beginning of liquidation of Warsaw Ghetto by Germans, a famous Polish writer, Zofia kosak Szutska published the undergrad protest, expressing a clear defiance of Catholics against the Holocaust of Jews in the occupied Poland. Polish Catholic priests and nuns engaged in saving Jews during World War II. Priests, nuns, and high ranks officials at the Catholic Church committed themselves to saving Jews in spite of continuous German surveillance and regular inspections of covenants, hospitals, and orphanages. It must be also noted that the Church, like the whole country, suffered war poverty, lo la lack of food, medicines, beds, clothing. Nevertheless, according to Professor Jarin, the senator of Poland, and historian specializing in this matter, no cases of refusal to save the Jews by the clergy are known. Professor also underlines the motivation of nuns, priests making very difficult decisions. In the name of Jesus Christ, many of them paid for those decisions with their lives, were shot or sent to concentration camps. They save Jews. Maria Kotalba, resistance courier, risked her life saving Jewish prisoners in concentration camp. Victoria Tamal and her children were hiding Jewish family. Zofia Golets Ruzhanska was nourishing Jews hiding in a bunker near German barracks. Professor Franciszek Rasheya, as a physis physician, got through the ghetto where he was murdered with his patient. Czesław Milos, poet with his brother Andrzej, offered a hideout and finance help. In Irena Cannabus, professor of medicine, and her husband Felix helped Jews and to hide their identity, perform foreskin reconstruction operation. Families murder. For saving Jews, Uma family from Markova, Yusef and Victoria, nine months pregnant, Basha, six years, four years, three years, 15 months, all were murdered by Germans in March 1944 for hiding two Jewish families that were also murdered, eight people, including two women and child. December 4, 1942, in Chapel of Germany, murdered Adam and Bronisława Kowalski with their five children. They also murdered Władysław and Karolina Koshor with six children, and Piotr and Helena Obuchewicz with four children. In neighboring Rekówka, they murdered three members of Skocila's family, from Koshor family and Henrik Kordo. In total, 33 people. The oldest was 70, the youngest seven months old. Wutsia and Vincent Barcinek, murder in Miechów in March 43 with their children. Catholic Church saving Jews. Polish Catholic Church was broadly engaged in various forms of aid to Jews, such as supplying clothes, food, and medicines, but also hiding. Often the whole family is issuing forged documents and transferring to safe countries. The church authorities were also taking official steps intended to stop the Holocaust. For example, the Archbishop Adam Stefan Sapieha appealed to the Germanist general governor of the Polish occupied territories, Hans Frank, to stop sending Jews to ghetto. Convent of the Immaculate Conception of the Holy Virgin Mary in Yaroslav, cupboard masking entrance to hideout in the basement. Great Memorials of Jews in Poland. Memorial in Treblinka. Museum of the History of Polish Jews. Museum in Stutthof. 
synagogue in Warsaw, the gate in, in Auschwitz. Polish Memorials of Poles Saving Jews. Museum of Poles Saving Jews during World War II, Marianova. Inscription of the monument in Markova. The whole family died here. Righteous among the nations. The righteous among the nations, Hebrew, Hasidim Umot Ha Olam is the Israeli highest civilian medal awarded to non Jews by the Shoah Martyrs and Heroes Remembrance, Authority Yad Vashem in Jerusalem since 1963. According to the Hebrew tradition, in each generation there are 36 righteous people, thanks to whom the world is protected against the God's anger. The medal is awarded to those who during the Shoah saved Jews risking their lives or freedom. So far it has been awarded to over 26,000 people, including 6,600 Poles. Among Poles awarded with medal are clergymen, Reverend Marcel Goldlewski, Sister Matilda Getter, Reverend Stanislav Falkowski, secular person, Maria Kotarba, Janin Antonina Zabinski, Irena Good, Mieczysław Fox, Szepan Bradwo, representatives of Polish state authorities, Irena Sandler, Zosia Kosak Szutska, Jan Karski, Janusz Korczak, Aleksander Kaminski. In the Garden of Righteous Among the Nations, there are few thousand trees with individual names of the righteous and their countries. Among the trees, there are boards listing all the righteous, over 26,000 from several countries. There are also a railway bridge with a car in which Jews were transported to death camps and replica of Warsaw Ghetto Heroes Monument. The term Yad Vashem means memorial and name is taken from Book of Isaiah. To them I will give within my temple and it walls a memorial in a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that will endure forever.